fire alert, fire alert, wrong guy, fired alert. That's going to be a new segment, I think, on the show, the wrong guy, fired alert. And the reason I was the king of that, we always fired the wrong guy because we had to blame someone. I'm never going to blame myself. I'm never going to fire myself. Wrong guy, fire alert, Yankees fire pitching coach Larry Rothschild. Yes, Yankee fans, can you explain to me why your pitching coach, longtime pitching coach, is taking the blame because your general manager chose to trade for Edwin Encarnacion and not a starting pitcher at the deadline, or chose to not get Verlander when he could have, or Cole when he could have, or Wheeler when he could have, even Jason Vargas when he could have. And now you're firing the pitching coach? Just now you've decided? Well, it's funny because Brian Cashman gave a press conference at the end of the season where he actually didn't blame the starting pitching and didn't say he was upset about anything other than situational hitting. Can you? That's what Brian Cashman said. He said, very disappointing playoffs because we had some pretty bad situational hitting. Well, that's true. Then did you fire your hitting coach or your assistant hitting coach? Or your manager? How come you need a new voice and pitching coach? Will a new voice make CC Sabathia's knee better? He's off the team. Will it make Big Maple, James Paxton? Will it make him a number one? Will it make Tanaka's ulnar collateral ligament more intact? Listen, Larry Rothschild was an outstanding pitching coach. What I'm taking issue here with is how the announcement was made, the timing, and why. When you want to fire coaches, you do it right after the season. There is no reason because it stops him and hurts him from getting another job. It's still possible he's going to get another job, but obviously there's more teams. Like the Angels went with Mickey Calloway, the fired Mets manager, who is now the pitching coach of the Angels. Why not give your coaches an opportunity to get other jobs in other organizations? What epiphany are you having from a business or on-field standpoint where you make a change during the World Series in your coaching staff. It's disappointing but typical of the Yankees in that they are trying to blame anything other than the fact that they have made bad signings and they're coming off the worst decade since the 1910s in their franchise history.